Madness global viewing public. Tim Skank coming to you live from the historic St. John's Rectory built in 1789, the same year of the U.S. Constitution and the first American Book of Common Prayer. I am here with Scott Gunn, who is coming to you from a slightly more modern building, the global headquarters of Forward Movement. Hello, Scott. Hello, Tim. Yes, uh, this is buildings like 1954, and if there and were a knows. nuclear apocalypse, if anything in, sur in Cincinnati survives, it will be this cinder block fortress. Uh, not quite the same charming character as your rectory, but who cares about that? Yeah. Everyone's in the throes of the final matches of the round of the 32. We've got some good ones going on today. Of course, today, is, uh, as we are recording this, Namageddon rages on. Yes. Yes, the Battle of the Consonants, Samuel Isaac Joseph Sheroshevsky versus, versus I, that's, that's great, that's the one word I can't pronounce is versus, uh, Nicholas von Zinzendorf. That's exactly right. That's a good one. And then tomorrow we've got another good one. We do. We have Sarah the Matriarch versus Elizabeth Ann Seton. And did you want to say a little something about that matchup? Well, yeah, I just want to say that this is the first time in the entire history of Lent Madness that we've had a figure from the Old Testament who made it in. This, uh, there's a long tradition of considering the matriarchs, uh, well, Sarah and uh, the Abraham, Isaac, and uh, Jacob as, the, uh, as saints. And so honoring that, we have Sarah in there. Uh, and she's a pretty interesting figure, so she's well worth reading about. And and uh, I don't want to. I of course, as a supreme, must stay unbiased, but people will make their choice. But that anyway, I'm noting that's a first time for us to have an Old Testament saint in the bracket. That is that is correct. And then we wind up the round of 32 with the long anticipated battle of the bands: Randy Crosby versus G. F. Handel. That's right. So uh, that'll be pretty cool to see. Um, whether Hallelujah or Blessed Assurance wins. Yeah, we will find out. So um, we also had encouraged people to send in some limericks to mark the Battle of the Continents, uh, consonants, name again. Um, again, I can't speak when, I, uh, when I, I get all excited about all these 34 consonants in these, in these names. So I'm going to read a couple of our limericks that were sent to us. Oh, thank you. Um, we received a lot of them. You can see them in the comments section on the uh, current battle, which, if you go to the website, Scott. Oh, that's at, uh, hold on a second, let me read it off the bottom here. www.lentmadness.org. Very nicely read. Excellent. So so here's one. We've got, we got a lot of limericks sent in. They're, they're fabulous. Some of them are great. Some of them, uh, I, I encountered my first six-line limerick, so that was interesting. Okay, here was here is one. The, some, from, of, some of them are avant-garde limericks. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, a little abstract. Uh, here is one from Barrett. What madness it is to choose between one born among Jews and the other account when both lives amount to greatness in spreading good news. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That's good. And I'm going to read one more. This one is a little more general. It is from Deacon Dorothy, who I actually know because Deacon Dorothy Caulfield at uh, Christ Church in Rye, New York. I believe I sponsored her for ordination, but here goes. There once was a game called Lent Madness. It delighted my heart and brought gladness. Of the saints I would learn, to the internet I turn, my weekdays no longer are aimless. Yeah, So right. I, I'm, I, I'm uh, delighted that, uh, that Deacon Dorothy did not um, rhyme aimless with shameless. Right, uh, like self-promotion. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, so, well, that's pretty cool, and there's lots more limericks where those came from in the comments section, and on this on the post with this video, we'll, I have a link right there to the comments, so you'll be able to find that. That's pretty cool. The other thing I've been thinking about, Tim, and I don't know what, I don't know how you feel about this, but mm. I was thinking, you know, it's maybe of kind of kicking Let Madness up a notch, mm. and, 
you know, it's it's a Lent madness. Everyone's talking about it everywhere you go. Lent madness, bracket this, bracket that, everywhere you go. And we're in the middle of March, the month of March, and Lent madness often happens during March. So mm-hmm. I was thinking maybe for alliteration, we should start talking about March madness. You know, that has a certain ring to it. And, uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm sure uh, we wouldn't get sued. And um, <laughs> the, uh, the Lent madness legal team is standing by. That's right, because um, I feel like we've pretty much single-handedly invented bracket-based competitions here at Lent Madness. Right. And anyone else is obviously a poser, so... Right, right. With, uh, well, bracket-based tournaments during March with madness in the title. Yeah, we, that was us. <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> All right, well, Tim, is there is there anything else today? Um, any, anything else we should talk about? I think the only other thing I'd mention is that on Thursday, we begin the Saintly 16... Now, in the Saintly 16, we move beyond basic biographical information and we get into our, we, we unleash our celebrity bloggers to address quirks and quotes. So right. quirks either, uh, well, it could be anything. I mean, may, maybe the saint in question had 18 children. Maybe the saint in question had, had a particular legend. Who, who knows? And also quotes by or about said saint, depending, mm-hmm. uh, well, I guess subject to abil- availability. Right. So that's uh, something to look forward to. And people can track that, um, see what's coming up and stuff on the matchup calendar, which is on the yep. website. And I've already forgotten the URL. Ah, uh, yes. It is. Is it appearing again? Yes, I it's can't... right down there Okay. Again. Oh, very good. Look at that. It's www.lentmadness.org. Yes, that's exactly right. Nicely, nicely done. Well, Tim, on that note, happy Lent. Happy Lent.